All right, my name is Ross, and uh, here's my next uh, steam engine. It's a vertical steam engine. I call it antique steam engine because the original engine was. I made all the patterns for the legs and the cylinder and in wood, and then I uh, had them cast. And this is, I think, my 10th or 12th engine of this kind. It's uh, 34 inches tall to the top of the cylinder overall from the base. The engine itself is uh, 28 inches tall. It has a 3 inch bore, 4 inch stroke, and it's running an alternator charging this battery. We had a really nice swift oiler on it. And I only need to have these uh, valves open about an eighth of a turn. The pop-off valve was going off at 100 pounds. Yep. I'm using one of my 20-inch boilers. And I'll turn on the steam. Now, uh, one thing about steam engines, single-cylinder steam engines, you always want to have the crank about halfway like, like I've got it there. You can kind of see it through the spokes here. And it'll start right away. It's got a steam hose connected to it. It doesn't need 100 pounds to run it. It'll run on 30 pounds of steam. It's just not very efficiently. Really nice stuff to it. So steam comes into the tank and is valved and the oil is pushed out through these valves into the steam line going into the engine. That's what oils the engine. It's called the swift oiler. This is a 14 inch belt pulley running there. And I've got an RPM gauge right here. So I'm at only 200, maybe 250 RPM there. And on the alternator, it's about a thousand RPM. I'm going to crank it up higher. Let the uh, alternator start working at about 1200 RPM. This boiler has an AC electric water pump on it. Looks great. No more hand pumping. Just plug it in and it fills up the boiler with whatever you want in it. Alright, well that's about it. Uh, you can get a hold of me through uh, my phone number, 206-948. 0770 or email me at anacortis steam that's a n a c o r t e f s t e a m at gmail.com anacortis steam all one word you can also find this on ebay so uh type in the search on ebay steam engine off grid Got it.